Father God, I just uh, thank you for, for giving me this opportunity to just share on your platform. Lord, I pray that what I'm about to do uh, just brings glory and honor to you. What I'm about to share, just you, you, you help others see you through it and not me. Father God, I know that I'm not perfect and I just pray that, that for all the multiple prayer requests on my mind right now, Lord, I pray that, that they're just lifted up on, to you on high. Lord God, um, I pray for just trust and patience. Um, I know it's a little different. And I love you. I thank you. Today, like the video earlier this week, is more like a podcast. We will continue this until the end of the month, and starting next month, we will be back on camera. But for now, this week is super short, but really good. So today, we're going to talk about finding a person of peace. Um, this is a multi-week um, chapter, but per se, I don't really uh, want to take too much from the book. And if you want to learn more, I highly encourage for you to get the book and to read it. So, uh, like I said, we're talking about finding a person of peace. And last few weeks, we've talked about engaging, and, and now we're moving on to this next step. But in a way, it's not really the next step. Um, engaging a community is important, but also we need to find a person of peace. And according to David and Paul Watson, if we do things right, the person of peace will ultimately find us. Learning how is key. Just because someone is a good person, they are not necessarily the person of peace. A person of peace is the one God has prepared to receive the gospel into a community for the first time. This can really be broken down into two major categories. But, like I said, more of this can be found in the book, Contagious Disciple Making, Leading Others on a Journey of Discovery. Spiritually, we can see uh, multiple teachings from Jesus um, when he, he sent out his disciples in Matthew 10, Luke 9, and Luke 10. I'm just going to touch on very few of these, and then you can look at more. I will be posting some of them throughout this week, but one of the big things is as you go, preach the message. The kingdom of heaven is near. That's uh, Matthew 10, 7. Freely you have received, freely give. That's Matthew 10, 8. Um, whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave that town. And that's from Luke 9, and which is different from st staying only in the house of a worthy person. It says you you come there you go into a house and you stay there um, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into the harvest field Luke 10 2 you see really I focus on the these few verses um, tonight because finding a person of peace recently has been a very struggle a very big struggle of mine and you see I say this because sometimes it's it just life sucks and you just have to learn to push through and persevere and it's definitely not the easiest thing to do but i've learned that the only way to personally do this is just by study and spending time with the lord with the lord and the lord is is there to harvest and sometimes that may be even go into the mission field. And in Matthew 28, Jesus sent us 
out to go make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. You see, this is really important here. We've been called to find a person of peace. We need to actually step out of our comfort zones and actually go. Go to the unreached. Father God, thank you for just giving me that opportunity to share your message with others as I know that it is very short, but Lord God, I thank you. Lord, I pray for each and, in, each and every individual who listens and watches this video. And Lord God, I pray that what is shared is only you and not me. Because they don't need me, they need more of you. Father God, I love you and I thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.